What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, it is a damn good day, Brad. We are in for a treat right here today, guys. We have tons and tons of brand new WWE action figures coming at you, and I am super excited to get into it. You guys know that around WrestleMania, we always get WrestleMania access, and we always get brand new Mattel WWE action figure reveals. Well, today is no different. Of course, they are not in person, you know, on display at WrestleMania access where everybody can view them and, you know, interact and all the good stuff. I'm claiming next year, man, it's going to be great, man. I, I feel like we're going to have a packed out house next year. Figures on display, all the good stuff. But for now, guys, we do have a bunch of brand new reveals, and I'm going to shut the hell up and get straight into it because we got a lot to get through, and it's a bunch of stuff we got to get through. So let's just buckle the hell up and take a look at all these brand new WWE action figure reveals that we got today, guys. Let's go ahead and start off with some Ultimate Editions. Let's start off with the brand new Ultimate Edition Fan Takeover Jeff Hardy figure. Starting out first, guys, you guys will see here he is shirtless. Now, you guys know that they did have a vote on this a while back. We even discussed it. We uploaded a whole video on it, and this looks to be the Armageddon 2008 Jeff Hardy figure where he won the WWE Championship. Now, I'm pretty sure that is what this is from. It looks really great. I like the Spinner Championship. Don't worry, he is also going to come with a black tank top cloth accessory that I'm guessing will probably be, you know, not have any Velcro because you guys know with the Ultimate Edition Stone Cold Steve Austin, that shirt had no Velcro, so I don't see why you could make one shirt Velcro, one shirt not Velcro. You could just do both no Velcro. It should just be one that goes right over the top of the figure. Should be really sick. You guys can see this is a new torso here, or this is the Ric Flair torso, I guess, or the Stone... I, I can't really tell exactly off the top of my brain, but we do have the butterfly joints. It looks like we're going to get the necklace. We got two interchangeable heads sculpts. He is going to have these beautiful sleeves on here. I can't wait to do fix-ups with Jeff Hardy's, man. I mean, this is going to be a really fun figure to fix up and stuff. Really happy with the way it turned out. The screaming head sculpt looks phenomenal. It looks to be a little bit different than all the basics we've gotten, and that's definitely not the Elite 67 head, so that is a new head. The screaming head sculpt is a new one. The non-screaming one is new as well. It kind of looks like it's the two-pack Elite just painted differently is kind of what it looks like. But the Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy does look really good, guys. Next up, we have a WrestleMania 9 Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan figure. And again, this one looks fantastic as well. I love that they gave him the John Cena sweatbands on his wrist. I think that is so freaking fantastic. Comes with the Winged Eagle Championship, bandana, belt, multiple interchangeable head sculpts. We even get the black eye head sculpt, which is super awesome. Even though WrestleMania 9 isn't my favorite, and you know, I'm not the biggest Hulk Hogan guy, his figures are really fun, man. Tracking down the Ultimate Edition Hollywood Hogan, and that figure was one of the best figures of the year. This one is probably going to be up there for 2021, and it looks excellent. I don't I don't know how you would want anything else out of a Hulk Hogan. This is going to look fantastic. I'm sure he'll also come with a cloth accessory because most Ultimate Editions do. So I think this will also feature a cloth accessory, but the Hulk Hogan also looks fantastic. Next up, guys, we have the next set of Ultimate Edition series, and it is going to be The Rock and John Cena. Now, we discussed both of these already on the channel. You guys remember we... It, it's so great to know that like our sources and our insider knowledge is coming to fruition. Like A lot of the things that we've made videos about months and months in advance and weeks in advance, putting it up to you guys and letting you guys know these leaks and these rumored lineups and stuff like that. It seems that a lot of them have come true, and that is no different from this Rock and John Cena Ultimate Editions. It seems that it is the 2013 version of The Rock. It's going to be, you know, the, I guess you can call it the standard movie edition Rock. Uh, he doesn't have his updated tattoos. Again, this is from back in 2013 when he won the WWE Championship. He's going to also come, I don't know if I have a photo of it. I'll try to plug it in. It's a photo of the WWE Championship. He's going to come with a championship that actually has the Rock side plates on it, and it's going to be the 2013 version. I feel like the render looks a little bit odd with the WWE logo, but the Rock looks really good. And the John Cena, man. This John Cena is going to be based off of WrestleMania 22, an attire that I've been wanting for so very long for Mattel. It looks really good. Everything looks accurate to me. I hate we're getting that same weird looking like straight or like no expression face sculpt. I love the smiling one. I love the yelling one. But the like Forrest Gump looking straight face, I can't stand that. But he is also going to have butterfly joints. You can't see it in this photo. I'll pull up a photo that Bill McKenna took while he was on the live stream showcasing the figure. And it looks like he's going to come with his black HLR shirt as well as the chain gang hat, which we have never seen before. It's going to be the black version with the white outline, not the white logo. So it should look really good. And then uh, 
The butterfly joints look good. This is going to be a really great figure. Both of these look really cool, and I can't wait to get both of these Ultimate Editions in our hands, as well as the Jeff Hardy and the Hulk Hogan. But moving things right along, guys, we do have some brand new WWE Elite figures. Let's go ahead and break down Elite Series 86, starting out with the Monday Night Messiah, Seth freaking Rollins Elite 86. It is the Rey Mysterio gear. We all we, we pretty much already knew it, right, because we saw the pre-order images. We would have loved to seen the Thanos gear, but it is based off of SummerSlam 2020. 20. I love this, and it looks like I am going to be able to do what I thought I would be able to do, which is acetone these uh, question marks off of the pink gear. I did pre-order a few of these. That way I'd have one to kind of play around and customize a little bit. It does look like he is going to come with his entrance vest. I don't have any more images of the figure, so I don't know if we're getting a cloth jacket. I don't know if we're getting a, you know, long-haired head sculpt with his, with his hair down. I'm not entirely sure of that. I'm sure we're going to get a couple pairs of interchangeable hands as well, but this head sculpt looks okay. I like that we're getting an updated man bun for Seth Rollins. He kind of looks like the Godfather or something. I think the likeness is there. Beard looks really, really good. You can tell that the hair is a little bit thinner on the sides leading up to the full hair on the top, which I really like. But the only thing is, is he's not really making, like, it's not a smiley head sculpt, which I can appreciate, but him making like this, I guess, Godfather expression is kind of like it. Like, you come to me the day of my daughter's wedding. Kind of like, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of what I'm getting out of this facial expression. But the Elite 86 Rollins does look really good. Really enjoy the colors. Next up is Elite 86 Carmella. Now this is really nice. I like this. I think this is going to be pretty damn good. I think the articulation will be great. This is definitely by far Carmella's best figure. Uh, the attire looks great. The cloth pants look great. Head sculpt finally looks like Carmella, so I can appreciate this. I hope that her lower half is just as good as her top half. You can't really see it yet, and I don't think we have any more images. I mean, I could be wrong at the time that I'm recording my voice. I don't have any more images to plug in of Elite 86. If there are any more, I will definitely plug them in, but Carmella looks good. We also have The Miz here. Now, when I first saw this, I thought that The Miz had a big-ass, like, nice cloth jacket, but now that I'm seeing it again, it does look like it is going to be rubber, which is pretty unfortunate. It's pretty much a re-release of the Elite 69 Miz with the red attire, except it's in white, and it looks like, it's like if you combine the Elite 37 Miz with the Elite 69 Miz, this is the Miz you're going to get here. We had a basic of this. It's pretty much the same figure, but in white and black. I love the, the white attire. It's just not, like, anything groundbreaking or anything like that. That, but that is the Miz figure. We also have Triple H, who is the Chase variant in the set. You have the SummerSlam purple version, which looks pretty good. Uh, you know, it's the True Effects version of that SummerSlam basic we got so long ago. You have the red and gold figure, which is eh. I don't really care for this attire. I much rather prefer the black, purple, and white gear. But both of them look all right. You know, nothing too crazy, nothing insane. I would have liked to have seen a DX gear in these tights, but you know, I you, you can't have everything you want sometimes. But the Triple H looks good. We already kind of knew what we were getting out of that one. Next up, guys, is going to be Psycho Sid. We get the SummerSlam 91, I think they said, attire. So he is going to come with the ref gear. It looks like this ref shirt and pants are connected as one. It doesn't look like it's separated, which will be interesting moving forward. But not only is he going to be in his ref gear, you can remove the ref gear and you'll get his red singlet and his red knee pads and stuff like that. And unfortunately, this uh, this head sculpt does look like me a little bit, but I don't think it has the same likeness as the smiley head sculpt. Maybe you could like customize it a little bit and it look like I'm pissed off or something, but you guys know that people love to use the Sid Justice figures for my likeness. Next up, guys, is The Fiend, and I mean, it is what it is. It's the Elite 77 Fiend, pretty much re-released. Doesn't look like they did anything new with it. Uh, another thing I noticed with this full wave is I'm not seeing any double jointed arms. I'm not sure sure when they're going to implement that fully, but I didn't see any double jointed arms on these guys. Uh, the Fiend looks identical to his Elite 77, except he has the Universal title. I don't think uh, he may have the prayer hands on the shirt. I can't exactly see from this angle. And then the last figure in the set, guys, is going to be the Collector's Edition Mustafa, or Colonel Mustafa, or Iron Sheik, in this really sick-ass cloth shirt. Like, this looks really damn good. I really like the sculpt we got going on on the lower half. These, this khaki, like, army color. Looks really damn good, like the tan. Really enjoy all the things we're getting right here. It's the same Retro Fest Iron Sheik head sculpt. I don't have any problems with this. I think this is great. It does look like he does have his green, like, tank top or singlet underneath. At least this little sliver of space I'm seeing underneath the shirt. So that's really good as well. We also have some Elite Series 87 figures, man. We have Candice LeRae. And we've, you know, we've seen her render image forever. But the colors look really good. Like the lime greens, pinks, purples. This looks just like Candice LeRae. I think her hair looks really good. I've actually even thought about 
about dyeing my hair light purple before? I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below. Should I dye my hair light purple? I don't know. But I like the way this figure looks. Hopefully, you know, it looks like she's going to have some lower ankle articulation, so that should be interesting as well. Next up in the set is two different versions of Apollo Crews. Now, I didn't see, I don't know if they told us which one is the Chase ver version and which one is the regular version. I would guess that the regular version is the blue gear and then the Chase version is the white gear. And he's also going to come with our first time in the line new United States Championship. Now, we've been talking about this for months. As soon as we knew we were getting an Elite Apollo, Apollo Crews, I said that it would be the longer beard, it would be an updated attire, and we'd get the brand new U.S. title. And here we go. So, I mean, it's beautiful to see. I love to see that those things come to fruition when we make those statements and seeing it here. The only thing that you could say is that it's not completely updated because he just switched gimmicks and attires and now he is the Nigerian Apollo Crews. So this figure is already outdated, but it will be nice to update our Apollo from Elite Series 49. This is going to be a nice upgrade. The, the head sculpt should look good and all of those things. We also have our Elite 87 Santos Escobar. Now this one should be interesting. Comes with the new NXT Championship. You got the Luchador mask head sculpt and then you have the unmasked head sculpt. Now this isn't my favorite gear that he's worn. I feel like he has better gears than this, but you do have the tassels on the boots. You got the shorter boot versions. You got the interchangeable hands and stuff like that. Really cool to get a first time in the line for Santos Escobar here. I really like the mass head sculpt a lot, so that will be a nice figure to own right there. Another figure in Elite 87 is going to be Asuka, and this Asuka looks really damn good, man. I'm really enjoying the Asuka figure right here. The black and red looks really sick. You get the mask. Head sculpt looks phenomenal. I can't wait to get this in hand. Hopefully, it's better than her network spotlight. I feel like her figures get better and better each time. Really dig the red, black, and gold on this figure. And the last figure in Elite 87 that we have, guys, is going to be the Collector's Edition Warlord figure, which is excellent. I know a lot of people have been waiting on this version of Warlord, so this looks really good. Got the face paint, got the entrance gear, uh, continuing the trend of the Collector's Edition being flashbacks, which I don't really have a problem with, but I feel like flashback collectors are probably going to be a little bit annoyed with that because, again, I never find these damn things. Like, I never find Collector's Edition, so you guys can let me know what your luck has been with the Collector's Editions, but we have a couple looks at a couple Elite 88 figures as well, guys. We also have a look at Elite 88 Roman Reigns, which looks glorious, okay? The, the one thing that I don't like is that it's the same head sculpt as Elite 84. However, he has the gold gauntlet. He has the back tattoo. We still have to wait a little bit till we get this. I'm, I'm assuring that it'll probably be the end of summer. Like, we still have Elite 86 to release, Elite 87 to release, so it's probably going to be a few months, obviously, before we get this, but the back tattoo looks good. The gold gauntlet, he probably won't even look like this by the time we get this figure, but having this option is really great, and I would love to see a thicker beard and, like, a different head sculpt. Maybe they'll change it by the time they get to the figure because we have a little bit of time, but I still like the Roman Reigns. It looks really good, and we also have Elite Series 88 MVP which looks really good as well. Updated head sculpt looks fantastic, bro. This looks absolutely sick. One thing I will say is it looks like they used the version with the long sleeves as the, as the maybe just for the render because it, you guys can see on his right arm, it looks like he's wearing a sleeve, but it's clearly skin toned. So I don't know what they're going to do about that. Maybe that's not going to be the case when it finally gets here. It probably won't be, but an updated MVP is great. Really like the black and gold gear. You also have the, the head sculpt looks great. Hopefully we get a, like a basic or a suited body put this on and it'll look really good. You get his chains, you get the black gloves. MVP's looking sick as hell. A few more elites that we have right here, guys. We also have the ringside exclusive Cactus Jack with the ECW Tag Team Championship. Now, this is really sick. You even have his cowboy boots, ECW shirt on there, black singlet. Really good figure right here. Now, as a ringside exclusive, it's not that, you know, it, it, it's not the greatest ringside exclusive ever, but I will say it's an upgrade from some of the ringside exclusives I feel like we've been getting here lately. So, I like it. I don't have any issues here. I think it's still a really great figure. Really sick to see the ECW Tag Team Championship making its way into the line, which is a really big deal as well. Now, outside of this exclusive, we also have some Survivor Series elites, man. We have two different Survivor Series elites. We have Brett the Hitman Hart. This gear looks beautiful. You got the pink and black and orange right there. You have a new Brett Hart head sculpt where the hair is not down in the face. So maybe this will be really cool when it comes out and, you know, it actually get it in hand. It looks like he is going to come with a pink steel chair, which I really like. Maybe I can use it in a special edition MDT match. Who the hell knows? I really miss those pink TLC sets from ringside. Hopefully they bring those back one day. That's a whole new argument for another day. But the Bret Hart looks 
really good. Hopefully that head sculpt ends up being better in person than here. And then we have a new Hulk Hogan Elite, which is also going to be in the Survivor Series Wave. Really great looking figure. Now we knew that what the Survivor Series Wave was. The last two in the set, I think, is what Bailey. We're also getting a Keith Lee. Those were not revealed to us today. Hopefully those will be revealed to us soon. But the Hulk Hogan looks good. You got the wide-eyed smiling or grinning head sculpt, like kind of wild-eyed. And it looks great. It's like a Defining Moments updated figure. I bet the head sculpt will look phenomenal. And I'm sure he'll come with other things outside of just this. Or not. I think a cloth shirt would be really good. People always love cramming in those, you know, those Hulk Hogan t-shirts in there. But moving on forward, guys, we also have an Elite 2 pack, which is going to be the Rock and Sock connection. And apparently, we are getting cloth jackets as well. So you not only get Mr. Socko, but you get Mr. Rocco with the uh, Rock Sock right there with the glasses and the Raw is War mic. I'm guessing this is going to come in like Raw is War packaging because you guys know we got the SmackDown 2-pack Elite with Jeff Hardy and with Triple H. I'm guessing this will be on the flip side and it will be the Rock and Sock and it will be a Raw is War packaging with the jacket. So that will be really cool. Haven't seen a Mankind Elite in a while, so it is great to see, you know, a little bit of a different version for him. And we're not done, Brad. We're still going here. We're still going here. Next up, guys, we have some Target Legend Series. Now, I think this is Legend Series 11 because 10 is what John Cena and all that. This one is Legend Series 11, and we have a look at the full wave here. Starting off first, we have Scott Hall in his new head sculpt. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the lightness looks a little bit weird. I like the attire that we're getting. I just don't know about this head sculpt. Like, it looks like Scott Hall, but I feel like it looks too young or something. Like, of course, it's a younger Scott Hall, but I still feel like maybe it's missing something. I like the bandana and everything like that. We confirmed this, a few, uh, you know, a, a few months ago, I think, and it's nice to see this one come to fruition. We also have Macho Man Randy Savage. Who is also going to be the Chase variant, which is absolutely beautiful. So you get two different versions of Macho Man. You got the WrestleMania 3 attire with the iconic Macho Man t shirt. Then you have the yellow version. And I love this. This is like perfect Macho Man for me. So I am definitely going to be tracking this down. Hopefully I can track down the Chase variant. Again, I don't get luck with stuff like that. I try my best to find them, but I'll be shocked if I can find the Chase variant version, but Macho Man is looking good. We also have the last two in the set, which is going to be Big John Stud, which is pretty much a re-release of his Hall of Fame 4-pack that we got with the Target, you know, the you know the Hall of Fame 4-pack from way back in the day. It's a re-release version of that, but with a True Effects head sculpt and the uh, the robe, his entrance robe, which looks great. You got the Big John Stud lettering on the collar there, and I would have liked to have seen something a little bit different, but what are you going to do? I think anybody that missed out on that 4-pack, this is a great figure to own. And then last Last but not least in this set, guys, we have a ECW Bam Bam Bigelow in the black and gray. Also confirmed this a few months back, and this looks sick as shit. You get the ECW World Television Championship. This is absolutely great. This looks sick as hell. Bam Bam's head skull looks great. Now, his figures are kind of hard to pose around, but it looks like it would just sneak up in the middle of the night and beat the hell out of me. So, I can appreciate that. The Bam Bam looks really damn good. Probably the best one in the set outside of Macho Man, in my opinion. But not only do we have all of those figures that we just mentioned, guys, but we also have some basic figures that we're going to run through right quick. And starting out first with our basics, guys, we do have our first time in the line, Damian Priest. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this head sculpt looks a little bit off. Now, it may look a little bit better once we get there. And if you're wondering why there's a version with outer uh, rib wrap and one with, I, th I, want, I don't want to be too, you know, crazy, but I'm pretty sure they they said this will be the Chase variant, and one will come with a rib wrap, and one won't. So kind of lackluster for that. You know, it's his black pants attire. It's not like any of his white gear or anything like that. Head sculpt looks decent. I don't know. I think we're going to have to wait on the full, like, actual images before we fully judge this thing. Outside of that, guys, we also have first time in the line Dexter Loomis. Now, this Dexter Loomis head sculpt looks just like him. It's kind of scary how good this looks. Now, I'm not a Dexter Loomis guy, but it looks just like him, and I can appreciate that. I know a lot of people want these first time in the line NXT, so we get Dexter Damian Priest, we get Dexter Loomis, and we also get Jake Atlas, who is going to be the Chase variant version. You get two different versions of Jake Atlas. Now, I do think that maybe some other people could have had a figure before Jake Atlas, but, you know, it looks to be a really simple, uh, you know, basic to elite conversion, so I can get behind that. We also have a look at Basic Series 121. Now, we have Apollo Crews, who is also the Chase variant, and it's going to be very similar to his elite, like the black and blue and then the silver and black. Now, I would definitely, it looks like he is getting two different heads sculpts so maybe something you know where you want to get the the basic to update like our it looks like this one's more of a 
like an angry yelling head sculpt, so maybe you want to switch that out with his elite figure. We also have a Silver Surfer Rey Mysterio. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this figure just kind of feels really flat to me. It's like all silver, and then you have the black gloves with the silver masked Rey Mysterio. I think an elite would have done much more justice to this figure because it's going to be really, I don't know, I, I don't like the way this looks on paper. It could be, it could end up being a lot better in person, but on render, I don't know how I feel about this basic. It just kind of looks plain Jane. We also have Bailey, which looks really good. You know, it is what it is. I wish it was an elite, but you have sort of like the teal, black, and gold, which looks really good in figure form, it seems. We also have a Roman Reigns. It looks to be the same Roman Reigns head sculpt. He does have the Wreck Everyone and Leave t-shirt. Nothing too immaculate going on with this basic Roman Reigns. And then last but not least for these basics, man, we have a new cane. So this is an early 2000s cane, but it looks to be a new masked head sculpt. Now, I don't think we can fully judge it until we get the, you know, the figure in hand and we see the final actual action figure images of it because you never know what that head sculpt is going to finally look like. But just something different than the damn mask sculpt that we've been getting. Hopefully this looks like the uh, the Jax versions that we used to get back in the day and the likeness is a lot better to Kane because they used that same damn mask head sculpt for so damn long. Hopefully this one looks a lot better. I'm really enjoying what we're getting and I'm glad that they changed that. Maybe they paid attention to the videos. I don't know if they watched the videos. I don't know if they understand. I don't know how they feel, Brad, but it is nice to see a new Kane mask sculpt and hopefully it is a lot better uh, when we get it in hand. I like the render image. I'm just hoping that it translates over to real life once we get it. And then last but not least, guys, we have a few championship showdown packs that we did predict early on. You know, multiple uh, months back or weeks back, we did predict these, and it has come to fruition. Starting out first is Mankind and Stone Cold Steve Austin. You have the Royal Rumble Elite Head Sculpt, Standard Mankind right here. Like we said, looks really good. Hopefully, I can get this for the Head Sculpts. We have Big Boss Man and Davey Boy Smith, another one that we also called. Davey Boy Smith in the jeans and Big Boss Man look really really good here. It should be true effects versions of their previous head sculpts. Maybe a new head sculpt for Davey Boy Smith. It should be. At least it should be like the shorter hair and look really good. And then last but not least, we have a Trish Stratus and China 2-pack, which should be really good as well. Re-release of the WrestleMania head sculpt. And then the Trish Stratus probably will be the head sculpt that we get on her Elite 87 figure. We didn't get an image of that today, but the Trish Stratus head sculpt should probably be something similar to this when we see it. And I think that, oh yeah, we're also going to be getting the return of Retro figure. Man, we're getting a Rowdy Roddy Piper and a Mean Gene Okerlund, and they just showed these off a little bit. So I guess we're going to be getting the return of Retros. Apparently, we're going to get more info on these at San Diego Comic Con, so we'll have to wait and see exactly what they were talking about here. But they did say that we are going to get some Retros back, so more details coming when we get to SDCC or closer to SDCC. But Jesus Christ, man, I felt like I just sat through a damn marathon at all these reveals. Like so many different things. The only thing that I uh, don't like about today's reveals is we didn't get a lot of angles from certain figures like I know the render images but like set, take like Elite 86 for instance we didn't get a lot of angles of those at least uh, at the time of recording like it may have changed by the time you know you guys are seeing it but I didn't get any uh, extra angles of that maybe you know they're supposed to be arriving soon and we'll get more images of those like I want to see the more angles of the Seth Rollins and see what kind of accessories we're going to be getting and things of that nature but that pretty much does it for all of our reveals today man I think it was a pretty good day a lot of great stuff coming really excited for it a lot of confirmed things that we've been talking about so it's really nice to see but that does it for today's video man Jesus Christ again I am out of breath I'm going to go take a break thank you guys for watching I hope you guys did enjoy let me know what your favorite reveal was down in the comment section below I'm really enjoying the Ultimate Edition Hardy and John Cena but there were also a ton of other things. I also like the Rollins and stuff as well. But I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't cross the line. And d d don't cross the line like me for not doing a random shout out. You cross the line. I've been beaten, broken down.